Hello guys! In today's video I would like to share an awesome idea about how to make a DIY silicone phone case. Or we also might call it a bumper case. You can make one not just for a mobile phone, but also for tablets or small cameras. Benefits of using a bumper case are somewhat apparent, like protecting our devices from scratches, cracks and so on. Well, to make our phone case, we will need the cheapest and simplest construction silicone. You can probably find a tube like this in most construction shops. We also need a pair of gloves, which you can buy at a drugstore. And also a bag of potato starch and a knife. Consider doing all of this outdoors. But since it's winter, I can imagine that not everybody wants to work outside. So let's at least do it in a well-ventilated room. Or if that's not an option, use a respirator. First of all, let's put on the gloves. Pour out some starch onto the table. Squeeze out some silicone. And mix it well. Here's what we should get. Looks like plasticine. And maybe some fishermen might say that it looks like fishing bait. Then we should knead it well to get a thin flat piece. Now put the phone in the middle, press it down, then fold the edges. What's left now is to wait until the silicone dries. About 12 hours have passed. As we see, the silicone is firm enough, so take the phone out of the case. We can see some marks inside the case. They outline the shape of the phone, the phone's buttons, camera and earphones input. So now we take a knife and carefully cut by the lines. In the end, take a piece of sandpaper, smooth out the rough edges and give a finishing touch with some raw silicone. So guys, our silicone phone case is ready. We can dye it in our favorite color. But I'd suggest to add some dye when mixing silicone with starch. Thus, we will get the color we want at the start. And I must point out that this is not really a way to save some cash, but rather a kind of a roundabout. For instance, if you have an unusually shaped or sized phone or tablet, thereby you can't find the right sized case, or you just can't buy one due to unique circumstances. This method will be an excellent way out. And again, if it's your first time making such a phone case, we might get some uneven surfaces. Like in my case, it's not perfect as well. And my phone is broken, so I used it just to show an example. In case of yours turns out not so great, not a problem. You can use it in the garage or maybe other messy workplaces. Our silicon case protects the phone very nicely. It has quite a thick layer and cushions the mobile phone well if it falls. 
Well, that's all for today. Thanks for the support. Did you know? Silicone does not provoke cancer and is non-toxic. It is still used in burn centers, in treatments to repair damaged skin.